What was it like dealing with the city to get something like this done, you know? Well, I mean, there's a backstory to this, right? So this house is 11 years in the making. Right. And this, this really, I mean, since 2009, you know, I was starting to sketch out ideas for, for the back of this, this property. And, and Gabe and I went to architecture school together. We've known each other for since undergrad. And, you know, laneway housing has been something that's always really, really interesting to us. And I think a lot of people in the design community. And, you know, so back in 2009, I had drawn up some initial ideas. And I still remember going into the counter of the city to say, hey, I'm interested in exploring this. And they just had no idea what was going on. The, you know, lady at the counter couldn't understand what this was. She said, well, what do you mean? What is, what, I don't understand. Where, where's the house? Wait, is this behind the house? Like, there's no front. Well, that, she's, it was completely, she was completely baffled by this. Um, you know, obviously that's changed and there was greater adoption over time. And back, when did we go to C of A? That was 2017. So, so 2017, we decided that, you know, we knew that the new laneway policies were coming. And we said, you know what, there's there's a sentiment change right now. Things are starting to, to evolve. Why don't we take our project, we'll go to the C of A, and we can see if we can get something something approved. That design was different than this. So it was actually two and a half stories. So it was a little bit, it was taller. It was two bedrooms, two bath. There was gonna be a little rooftop terrace. So rooftop terrace on top with a bedroom on top. And uh, so it was, it was taller and, and, and had more density to it. The, the entire community was opposed to that. So there was a petition that was signed. The, the councilor ultimately, at the last minute, the night before the C of A uh, hearing, basically submitted a letter saying he would not support it. And so it was, it was refused. So there's a backstory to this house. This particular design is fully as of right. So, you know, it shows you how much has changed in the last, whatever, 11, 12 year. That sort of since the blanket upzoning or whatever yeah. to change. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, so now it's as of right. So, I mean, the, the biggest challenge here was getting urban forestry to sign off, which just took time. It took probably three or four months for us to get them to sign off on this idea of having a floating house on piers in the tree protection zone. But once that was satisfied, I mean, when did we file for permits? Probably in July. Yeah, it was pretty quick after that. Six so weeks we got permits, right. completely as of right. So it's a very different scenario or situation now compared to what it was initially back in 2009. So the big thing too, when you go in, you'll, you'll see this, but the, you can see the tree through through here. Yeah. So that's the whole reason yeah. that this, this house is on piers. And, right. and that tree, the tree protection zone, yeah. is essentially the entire block. So the idea is that you drill the piles in and it hopefully doesn't hit the So roof. we had the arborist here while we we're drilling the piers right. and he would check if there was a root there. So actually as we were, as Brandon and I were here while they were drilling, we yeah. were like saying, oh, move it a few inches. Yeah. And it was kind of working and then having the engineer on, on the other line, right. calling and making sure we can actually move it a few inches. And how many piles is it, is it on our piers? Uh, I think there's eight. 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 eight or nine? Yeah. You guys are both developers and architects. I mean, the, the ch regulations have changed for about two years now. Do you think this is going to be a continuing trend for the city where folks like you who are property owners would, would consider doing this? And that there'll be a lot of projects like this popping up for people who want to make a rental income or, or have a second dwelling. That isn't a basement. <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. 100%. There's going to, I mean, every year we're going to see the number of permits go up. I mean, Gabe's coming, you're working on a ton of projects, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And all the projects now, or if there's a laneway, there's always the laneway house component. People are really understanding that. And even like through this project, another project that I'm doing now, like the neighbors are entering into agreements with each other to allow, because you need the emergency access. 